Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to your first video of this year. We are going to work um, with the interactive study guide as you see right there. Um, today we're going to work up page 6, 7, and 8. Now, the interactive study guide is more designed to address concepts, not so much um, computation. That's what really the textbook will be for. And I'm going to, um, you're, go, you're going to work out of the website and um, through the website you'll have access to the uh, digital copy of the textbook uh, as well as you have a hard copy that you can keep at home um, if, in case you don't have uh, electricity. Okay, so what we're going to work on is the interactive study guide, pages 6, 7, and 8. Please follow along, copy what I copy, make sure that you write down all the key answers or anything that I put on there, a smiley face, a star, to show me that you watch this video. Okay, this counts as part of your homework grade. If you do not watch the video, your homework is not complete. Okay, let's go to page six. Okay, so on page six, if I'm not mistaken, yes, we are looking at um, these notes that we take from today's lesson. So identifying, okay. Um, we look today in class at the four-step plan, okay, where we understand, we plan, solve, and check and this is the steps that we take for a word problem. Now we want to find out these sentences right here belong to each one of these sections, okay? So when we look to understand, we have to find facts. So what facts do I know? That's part of the understanding, see? Write a U for understand, P for plan, S for solve, or C for check. So looking for facts is understanding. What else is understanding? Let's see, when we go back to the list, um, we know information. What information do we need? Is there anything here about information? Or what do I need to find out? There's the question, what do I need to find out? That's also part of the understand. Okay, and now let's take a look at the next step is planning. Um, we have to reread. We have to determine, oh, determine how the facts, determine how the facts relate to one another, determine how the facts relate to one another. Okay, and continuing through, uh, let's see, uh, what facts do I know? We know that, I'm going to use my plan to solve, hmm, that seems like a different, see it says solve, solve, that's a different step, I'm still looking for planning. Um, ooh, choose one or more problem solving strategies. Hmm, where does it say that? Choose a strategy for solving. There we go. So this one is also planning. Okay, and now let's jump ahead to solving. Uh, use my plan to solve the problem. Use my plan to solve the problem. And finally, the last sentence. Does my answer make sense? Well, when we check, we ask ourselves that. Does my answer make sense? And there you have it. The first letter to each one. Okay, plan, well we have understand, understand, plan, plan, solve, and check. Okay, continuing on. So solving multi-step problems. For this, for these next two questions, describe your plan to solve the problem and how many operations must be used. We're going to use these as our warm-up next class because we have to look at lesson 1-1 and choose one of the problems and then explain how we did it. So that's going to be our warm-up when we first get to class. I'll give you guys 10 minutes to do those. But I think we can... Um, answer the summary in two to three sentences what this lesson is about. And if you've noticed, right there where it says rate yourself, it says I understand right here, okay, right there, it says I understand how to use the four-step plan. Well, that is, the, that is the objective of this lesson, okay? So write in the sentence to summarize the lesson. Write that down right here, okay? I won't write it for you. I want, I want you to write it, write these words. This lesson is about understanding the four-step plan. The four-step plan is, or the four steps are, and then write them, okay? Understand. What's the next one? Plan, solve, and check. Okay, go ahead. Write that down. Put a star right there. This is a key answer. Okay, moving on to page 7. Page 7, we are asked to write two definitions for the word operation, right here. Um, an operation, we know typically in the real world, 
that it's a medical procedure, right, that people get. I have had uh, an operation myself on my ankle when I broke my ankle. So in the real world definition, an operation is a medical procedure performed on a person. But what is an operation in, in the world of math? Well, in the world of math, it's an, it's, it's an arithmetical action performed on numbers. It means we are working with numbers, uh, multiples, factors, to solve um, real-world problems through numbers. Okay, so it's an, an arithmetical action performed on numbers. On the side, we have a little quick review that we are asked to do. It says, name a mathematical operation and its inverse. Today in class, we talked about in inverse and operations. So we know that the inverse of multiplication is division, or the inverse for addition is, if you're thinking subtraction, you are correct. Okay, moving on. Vocabulary startup. As I mentioned today, vocabulary in math is very important so that we know exactly what we're asked to do. A numerical expression contains a combination of numbers and operations, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, that's what a numerical expression is. It's a number sentence, essentially what we called it in everyday math back in fifth grade, a number sentence. But a numerical expression is what we're going to be calling it in secondary now. Complete the graphic organizer so that we can actually um, identify what the word is. Numerical expression, what is it? Well, as we mentioned, it's an expression using numbers and operations. Okay, let's give a couple of examples. For the examples, you can go ahead and make any of the examples that you want. You can say 20 minus 3, uh, 4 divided by 2 times 5, or you can even use parentheses. You can say parentheses, 10 plus 8, close parentheses, divided by 9. Okay, uh, make sure that you put a star on this page as well, boys and girls. Uh, actually, no, let's, let's put a nice smiley face, one of Mr. Mendes' funny looking faces. If I see that on your test, exactly where it is, I know that you have done the same work. You have watched this video. Okay, continuing on to the real world link. For the real world link, we're just going to talk about following an order, okay? The reason we're talking about following an order is because we just talked about the step, the four step process for a word problem, and we're also going to talk more about, about order of operations. For example, PEMDAS, okay? Parentheses, exponents, PEM, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Um, those are order and very important orders to do. So real world link, we do things in the world in order. Like when we brush our teeth, we open the cap, we put the paste on the toothpaste, we sometimes, often sometimes we wet the toothbrush first, or you know, or we wet our mouth first, whatever. There's an order that we all do because it works best for us. Well, here's an example of a person taking a picture, five step process. Um, number one should be the first thing that you do, number five should be the last thing that you do, okay? Um, Go ahead and do these on your own. I'd like to, I'm curious to see what order you put. Personally, myself, I would check the battery level first. I want to make sure that my camera or phone, because I often use my phone as my camera, has enough battery that I can take a picture before I can do anything else. So that would be my number one. And I think, play back to see the picture. Play back your picture to see if you want to keep it. That's usually the last step after I've taken, after I've gone through everything, I've taken my picture, I like to see it. So that would probably be number, my number five. Anyways, go ahead and do this on your own. Let's move on. On page eight, we are deciding on what we're going to use, what operation we're going to use um, during the planning process of our four step process, or word problem process. So let's see, number one, we are looking for the difference of 18 and 13. When we look for the difference between two numbers, what do we use? If you are saying subtraction, you are correct, okay? Subtract. Uh, the quotient of 81 and 9, yeah, the quotient means divide. Sorry, not the prettiest division sign. Um, the cost of four pencils at 30 cents each. Well, if I want four pencils and they cost 30 cents, I have to know I can add 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30, or I can just simply multiply. And the total students, if there are seven boys and 11 girls, and you want to know the total students uh, that are in the classroom, we simply add. So that's part of the planning process when you are planning on, on what to do, what computation you will use. Okay, order of operations. 
Okay, let's look at this numerical expression we have here and follow the PEMDAS order of operation rule. For PEMDAS, the first thing we need to do is parentheses. I notice that we have two sets of parentheses. The, when we have parentheses inside of another set of parentheses, we call these nested parentheses. We must always do the nested parentheses first. So that should be your step one. So it's seven plus nine. As you can see, that's my nested parentheses right there. 7 plus 9 is 16. So now I have to do the, the next parentheses. So I actually have 16 times 3. 16 times 3. So I have 16 times 3. All of that, 16 times 3, in here will turn into only one number. 16 times 3 is 48. Now if I continue with PEMDAS, I've already finished with the parentheses. I don't have any exponents, so the next is multiplication. Remember that multiplication and division can be interchangeable and interchangeable depending on which one comes first. The next one that I have is actually multiplication because I have the two and the parentheses. Parentheses means multiplication, as you can see there. I have a parentheses, I have the 48 inside the parentheses, so 2 times 48. Now, 2 times 48 equals. Um, I don't want to delete all that. So 2 times 48, let's just get rid of all that, and I'm going to write the new number, equals 96. Oh, can't really see that, but uh, equals 96. So 96 minus 15 would be my next step, because now I just have to finish the equation. All of this turned into 96, and now I just do the uh, subtraction, which is the last step, subtraction in the PEMDAS process. And finally, I just do my solution. So 96 minus 15 equals 81. And there you have it. Okay, put a nice star on this. Two stars. This is a key answer.